Good morning, guys. Hopefully y'all slept well and had a good night last night. I'm gonna come and see what kind of uh, collective energy we can get for today. Wow. I have a jumper already. These cards are ready to be read. That super snow full moon tried to kill me on the cool. Okay, let's see what we can get. And our jumper was soulmate relationship. Everybody is looking for their twin flame or their soulmate or, you know, trying to have this amazing relationship. And we just need to realize that we have all kinds of soulmates here from past lives from everywhere that, you know, if you love them, you love them. It doesn't matter if it's your twin flame. It doesn't matter if it's your soulmate. I mean, yes, it matters, but if that relationship isn't good, you know, maybe it's time to move on with a soulmate or maybe it's time to stop with the labels, period. If you're happy and you're in love, then just let it be. Sorry, but this whole twin flame stuff is just, it seems to be like that's all that everybody's worried about. And I understand that the key to all this is unconditional love, but it's unconditional love of everybody, just not a certain person. And, and if you're hurting because of that person, then, you know, maybe you shouldn't be in that relationship or you shouldn't keep trying to fight hard for it. And I'm not saying not to fight hard for a relationship that's good. It's not what I'm saying, but I see so many people all day, every day, and all they say is, my twin's with another person, and my twin this, and my twin that, and my twin this, and you know, what about you? You have to learn to love yourself fully and complete before anybody else will love you that way, you know, and if you think that you're looking for the love of your twin or of your soulmate or whoever, whatever label you want to label it, you're not. You're looking for self-love, unconditional self-love. That's what you're searching for. Higher vibrational living. Love this. Look at all that purple. You know, and that, and I know I talk about vibrations and stuff all the time, but you know, you always just want to be your highest vibration, no matter what. The higher your vibration, the more you pull into yourself. Lack attracts lack. High vibration attracts high vibration. Abundance and love is the highest vibration and peace. So you, if you can get your vibration up to that, then you know, everything is gonna be coming to you that's supposed to come to you at that time and point. Kind of like my saying, meet me at my vibration. Call on your angels. Your angels are always there and they, they want you know to help you with everything, every single day, all day but they have to be called on. They can't come into your life and just do something without you calling on them unless it's like an emergency. So just make it a point every day to talk to your angels at least once a day if you can. And last out we have crystal clear intentions. Boy, this is a great reading today. You know, crystal clear intentions. With this, you know, you always wanna have, like I keep saying, your intentions the highest and your vibration the highest because when you're at that higher state you attract what you need at that point in time and so if you have crystal clear intentions on what you want then it's really easy to get to that point okay now let's see these are my new cards and it is chakra healing so I figured what I would do every day is wow pull a chakra card and apparently these cards are wanting to be read today i was shuffling them earlier and they're flying all over the place they still are okay we got card 51 integrate wisdom learn to hear the voice of your highest self which speaks mostly in whispers when you are alone and quiet what is the wisdom of your most aware and awaking self you have lived many lives and are integrating the wisdom of those lifetimes today 
Focus your attention and intentions on activating the deeper awareness and wisdom of all you know. Know that you have the ability to integrate the fullness of all of your past life expressions in this moment. And this chakra is the soul chakra, which is up here. And uh, the crystal is pink rose quartz, and the herb is heather. These are absolutely beautiful, 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 beautiful. So that's the chakra we'll be working on today. Now, just do you see all this purple? We got a purple going on. Let's see what the romance want to say to us today. Let's see if they want to jump. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And that's true, you know. If you make the effort to do something new or if you make the effort to learn something new or learn somebody new or something, you know, you, making the effort is all it takes. If you make an effort, you can get to any destination that you're wanting to go. But still and stagnant and not making any efforts, you know, never get you anywhere. Let's see what the rebels have for us today. The sun is out. Finally, finally, it rained and rained and rained. I didn't get to see the full moon, and I'm just glad that it is done raining. We got a lot of chemtrails going on today, though. You look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. Alrighty. <laughs> And what is our inspiration for the day going to be? When the root is deep, there is no reason to fear the wind. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, and you don't have to fear the wind when your root is deep. When you know what you want in life, then you never have to worry about somebody coming and pulling you up or the wind ripping you up or anything like that. So that's what I got for y'all today. I love y'all so much. Meet me at my vibration and namaste.